everyone and welcome to the micro e-learning program from the Global Parkinson's Genetics Program and the Aligning Science Across Parkinson's. My name is Alex Zira. I am a PhD student at Queen Mary University of London. Together with Vesna van Meden, neurology resident and PhD student from Ljubljana, Slovenia, we will talk about cognitive assessments in Parkinson's disease. In this video, we will cover an introduction, the Mini Mental State Examination, MMSC, the Montreal Cognitive Assessment, MOCA, the Scales for Outcome in Parkinson's Disease Cognition, SCOPA-COG, the Identification and Intervention for Dementia in Elderly Africans, IDEA, and the Summary. Cognitive impairment is one of the more debilitating non-motor symptoms of Parkinson's disease, with 30% of patients diagnosed with mild cognitive impairment at the time of diagnosis. What is more, about half of the people with Parkinson's progress to dementia within 10 years of diagnosis. Cognitive scores are not only important in our everyday clinical practice by aiding the diagnosis of cognitive decline, but also in research for observational and therapeutic studies or trials. Over the coming slides, we will talk about a few cognitive impairment assessment tools commonly used in Parkinson's. In these scales, lower scores signify worse cognitive performance. The scales differ in availability, cognitive domains tested, and sensitivity. Therefore, the selection of cognitive scales can have a high impact on our outcome, both in the clinic and in research. Importantly, any scale we use has to be validated in our country and adjusted to the local culture and language. The Mini Mental State Examination was developed in the USA in 1975 and has been used worldwide in Alzheimer's disease. This assessment takes about 10 minutes to administer and includes six cognitive domains, including orientation, working memory or registration, attention, recall, visuospatial processing and language skills. It has also been translated in more than 70 languages. The accepted cutoffs for this scale are less than 20 defines dementia, 20 to 24 defines mild cognitive impairment, and more than 24 defines normal cognition. Disadvantages of this scale are the limited assessment of frontal or executive abilities, as well as the presence of language and education biases. The MMSC scale suffers from ceiling effects, and lastly, clinicians and researchers need to obtain copyright to use this scale. The Montreal Cognitive Assessment Tool was developed in Canada, Montreal, in 2005 to assess cognitive impairment for Alzheimer's disease. It consists of eight cognitive domains, including executive abilities, and takes about 10 minutes to administer. It has been translated in nearly a hundred languages worldwide and is also available without the need for copyright. The maximum score is 30 and previously published guidelines suggest using a cutoff of less than 19 for dementia, 19 to 25 for mild cognitive impairment and more than 25 for normal cognition. Indeed, compared to the MMSC, the MOCA has been shown to be more sensitive in detecting cog mild cognitive impairment in Parkinson's since it covers more cognitive domains. However, further studies show that in more heterogeneous patient cohorts, a cutoff of 23 is more appropriate to identify mild cognitive impairment. Disadvantages of the MOCA are also language, cultural and education level biases. The next scale is the scopa cock which was developed specifically for cognitive impairment in PD in 2003 in the Netherlands. It consists of four domains including memory, attention, executive function and visuospatial function and takes about 15 minutes to administer. It has been translated into 11 European languages and does not require copyright to be used. The maximum score is 43. A cutoff below 17 suggests PDD. 17 to 20 or 24 suggest MCI and a score of 24 or above suggests normal cognition. 
The scale can differentiate between disease severity and cognitive impairment. However, there is limited assessment of language and it is not appropriate for use in clinical trials as the point change over several years is not sensitive enough. The last scale that we want to talk about is the IDEA, or the Identification and Intervention for Dementia in Early Africans Assessment Tool. Uh, the idea was developed in the UK in 2014 based on clinical data from Tanzania. It consists of six items testing the following cognitive domains. Delayed fecal, orientation, verbal fluency, abstract reasoning, praxis and long-term memory. It takes about 10 minutes to administer. It has been used in Tanzania and Nigeria with good performance in, in communities with low education levels. The maximum score is 15. A cutoff of 7 or below suggests dementia, 8 to 10 suggests MCI, and a score above 10 suggests normal cognition. The scale remains to be used in PD, but a large multinational study using the scale has started in 2022. This brings us to the final slide with the key messages. In this video, we reviewed why cognitive impairment is important in PD and covered the few commonly used assessment tools for PD, MCI and PDD. The takeaway messages are Cognitive impairment is a very important issue in people with Parkinson's disease. There are several assessment tools available for screening for cognitive impairment. Some assessment tools such as the MMSA and MOCA are widely available and have been translated and used in many countries around the world. However, both of these have cultural, education and language biases. A cognitive assessment tool developed for PD is the scopa Cog, but this may be more suitable for cross-sectional population studies rather than clinical trials. A different cognitive assessment tool for communities with low education levels is the IDEA questionnaire and has started to be used in PD in African countries. And this brings us to the end of our video. Thank you so much for your attention and if you have any questions, please reach out.